1893 was a watershed year in the history of electricity because in 1893, the Chicago World's Fair was determined to use electricity to illuminate the event. At that time, there were two competing methods. On one hand or one side, you had Thomas Edison with direct current, and over on the other side, you had George Westinghouse with alternating current. The organizers of the World's Fair allowed both men to bid for the right to electrify the World's Fair. Thomas Edison, feeling that it was a slam dunk for him, bid $10 million. George Westinghouse came in at $2 million. It was a no-brainer at that point for the organizers. They chose Westinghouse and alternating current, and the rest is history. Five years earlier, in 1888, Sidney Evershed invented the cross coils ohmmeter. This was the first step in developing an instrument to accurately measure insulation resistance. In 1889, he patented the world's first insulation resistance tester. From these beginnings, at the dawn of the age of electricity, sprang Megger. In the early 1930s, Megger introduced its first earth or ground resistance tester. This product was based on U.S. patent number 1616387, filed in Great Britain on January 1st, 1925, and then in the U.S. on January 4th, 1926. This product was crucial to the electrical industry because it measured the ability of a ground rod or a ground system to effectively dissipate dangerous fault currents. And for well over 100 years, Megger has been at the forefront of electrical testing equipment development, consistently exceeding industry standards in metering, in durability, and functionality to deliver high quality performance. Starting with the insulation tester, Megger has introduced the industry to numerous firsts right up to the present day. Testing equipment can vary a lot based on the job at hand. One of the problems that an installer or contractor has is selecting the right tool to get the job done fast, accurately, and most important, safely. Good grounding protects people and equipment and improves the performance of sensitive electronic equipment. The bonding to the ground rod is also a critical part of the system. Therefore, testing the quality of grounds and bonding should be an active part of any electrical maintenance strategy. The clamp-on ground or earth resistance tester is an effective and time-saving method when used correctly because the user does not have to disconnect the ground system to make a measurement. Before you choose an instrument, you have to know what kind of test is going to be performed and in what conditions. Not understanding the instrument's capabilities and limitations or the testing environment can lead to erroneous results. 